Hello my dear family members, many of you are asking me sir, this code was asked for Accenture on campus or off campus, for AAC role or PADA role. Let me tell you that the question which were asked on August drive for AAC role, those are repeated again for PADA role in November. And the questions which were asked on June and July drive, those are repeated again in August on campus drive. It's true that the difficulty level of AAC role questions are more moderate than the PADA role, but you should not ignore any role questions. You must treat the questions as Accenture questions, not any role specific question. These are my observations as I have been uploading questions of Accenture throughout the year. You can have other opinions, so you may follow that. By the way, today I will share both coding questions which were asked on Accenture Drive 9th November. Let's see, what are the questions? Actually, the question was shared by one of our family members. He could not remember the full code, but the gist of the question is, Write a program that takes an integer in as input and returns the nth prime number starting from 2 and sample input is 5, output is 11 and sample input is 11 and output is 31. How I am explaining? Actually, if you uh, point out all the prime numbers from 2, that is 2, 3, 5, 7, uh, 11, 13, 17, 9, 19, 23, 29, and 31 right so if the sample input is 5 then output should be 11 that means 1 2 3 4 5 right this is the output and if the sample input is 11 that means you are asked to print the 11th prime from 2 that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 that is 31 so output should be 31 right so what you have to do i hope you understood right so if you understood then please solve the problem by yourself and give the code before i answer right okay so let's start with the solution in python and java both so at first start with python so what should be our approach to the solution that is we will define two function one function will be for checking if the number is prime and second function will be for to return the nth prime number right okay so at first we will check if the number is prime or not so what is the prime number that is the number which is divisible by one and itself that is the prime number right so at first define the function is prime so by which we will find if the number is prime or not right and n is argument that is an integer and now we will check if the number is less than 2 that means 0 or 1 then it will be considered as not prime right okay so if n is less than 2 then we will return false right so as we know the number which is divisible by 1 and itself that is prime so we will check if the number is divisible by any other number from 2 to the number itself right so we could have actually iterated from 2 to the number itself but this will take more time to compile so we can take the range up to n by 2 but to write more optimized code we should take the range as square root of n because if the number is divisible by any number between uh, 2 to square root of the number then it is considered as not prime so why would we take the range as the number itself so for i in range to two int number sorry zero point five plus one so we are iterating from two to the square root of the number let's say the number is 25 and we will check if the number 25 is either divisible by two three four or five then it will be considered as not prime so this way we actually uh, reducing the compiling time right compilation time okay now check if the number is divisible by i that means i i means 2 3 4 or the uh, up to the square root right okay now if this is divisible then we will return false right okay if not then return true out of the for loop just return true right so this is fine now define another function which will be for finding the nth prime so define nth prime nth prime let's say the number is n 
and uh, at first what we will do that is we will initialize an empty list in which we will store the prime numbers from 2 up to the numbers right up to n so and we will initialize uh, the number from 2 right okay so the list let's say the prime list is equal to empty list and initialize uh, the num from 2 from which we will store the result right so we have to store the prime numbers up to n so we will run a while loop while length of the prime is less than n we will iterate up to that number right so now if the number is prime if n sorry if is prime n then we will append the value append the number into the prime list right okay prime dot append the number and now increment the number by one to move to the next number now just return the last element of the prime we will see our desired output return prime minus one and we will see the desired output as we want okay now take the input so n is equal to int input and call the function print nth prime let's see if this gives right or not so for 5 the output should be 11 and it is 11 and for 11 the output should be 31 and it is 31 so i hope you understood the logic and syntax i used in python so if you didn't understand here then please let me know i will love to solve your queries let's solve the problem in java but before we proceed to the java solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture and join our telegram channel to discuss more and if possible then please contribute few thanks through youtube thanks so what we have to do in java that is just repeat the process as python so we will at first define the first function each prime then we will define second function nth prime and we will just call the function nth prime into the main function and we will be okay i think okay let's define the first function that is public static and we will return a boolean type boolean is prime and sorry and the number is n now we will check if a given number is prime or not right so if the number n less than 2 if this then we will consider that as not prime so false and we will we'll now iterate through all the element from 2 to the square root of the number right to check the divisibilities so for int i is equal to 2 i less than math dot square root of the number n and i plus plus sorry okay now we have to check if the number is divisible by i right if the number is divisible by i then we will consider that as not prime so we will return false okay now we will return false outside the for loop right as we did in python right i am not discussing uh, the solution more because i have already done that okay now find the nth prime numbers so public static and int find nth prime number nth prime int n right okay now we should initialize an empty array of prime numbers right so int prime is equal to sorry new int that is the length is n and we should initialize a number num is equal to 2 from which we will store the prime numbers right now we will store all the prime numbers from 2 to n into the prime array so for that we will have to run a while loop while 
index less than n will check if the current element is an a prime number then we'll store that into a prime array right so for that we have to at first initialize int index is equal to zero because we have no facility of slicing in java right so for that we have to initialize index is equal to zero now check if the current element is prime is prime then we will store that into prime array prime index is equal to the num and we have to increment the index as plus one each time and we have to increment the num is equal to num plus one each time to move to the next number okay so i hope everything is fine now just return the last element of the array and we'll see our desired output so return the last element that is n minus 1 we'll see our desired output i think okay now call the function in main i hope this will be fine so for that create a scanner class object scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in and initialize int n is equal to sc dot next int sorry we have to take input n and we have to print i mean call the function nth prime n okay i hope everything will be fine sorry i had to actually return this as true right okay now i hope this will be fine so for 5 the output should be 11 but this is giving 7 why sorry i had to actually iterate up to the square root right not before the square root right okay now everything is fine so for 5 the output should be 11 and for 11 the output should be 31 and everything is fine now so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in java now we will move to the next question but before we proceed to the next question i would request you to please contribute few thanks through youtube thanks and please join our telegram channel and don't forget to subscribe this channel okay so the next question is actually regarding palindrome number i will not solve the problem this is your task and please give the code in comment section i will give a heart to it so if you think the video added value to your career then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture thank you for today's session